This is Red All Over with me, Joe Beardsall, Andy Simcox, Alan Smith, and Jane Ugly, who's uh, got to hurry up because, as usual, she's always running somewhere. You've not started <laughs> running yet, Jane. Oh, yeah, all right. I'm waiting. For, I'm no. waiting for the show when Jane is just already running and she's just there on Zoom, like. I'm here. I'm here. Just speak yeah. knowledge. This is what I think the Carly Woodrow are going to look to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, speaking of that, that's what we're going to talk about tonight. Get in the comments. Um, as you know, if you watched last week's show, we are giving away a large men's uh, replica uh, kit. The blue one, uh, retro, I meant, not replica, retro. Um, uh, basically, you get a, a, a thing in the hat every time you comment. So get one comment in there. Uh, if you did it on last week's show, you're already one name in the hat. If you do it again this week, you get two, your name in the hat twice. And if you do it next week, you get three, so on and so on. Um, so let us know, what do you think to Carly Woodrow going to Luton? Um, and we're going to talk about that. Obviously, fixtures released tomorrow uh, but because of some breaking news breaking news a little bit of breaking news of uh, Robbie Cundy joining the club uh, center half joining the club on a two year deal we decided to do the show a little bit early so we will talk about the fixtures at the weekend when we go to works of away um, but let us know what you think to that as well um, right let's start off Collie Woodrow then Andy we knew that there were going to be some biggies leave <clears throat> he's hey, probably one of the highest paid at the club it's not really a surprise is it no, of course not. It's inevitable. We always sell our captains anyway, so it's no surprise, is it? It's like the kiss of death, isn't it? You, you were saying that. And then you get flogged. <laughs> you know, whether you want to or not, you get flogged if you're captain. Um, oh, good luck to him. He didn't have the greatest of seasons last, last season, but nobody did. Uh, he's been a good, a, a, a good, I wouldn't say a good servant, a good player for our club. Scored lots of goals, even when I said he couldn't hit a barn door and don't take that free kick that you dropped me in it, we, Joe. When he, when he replied and said, I've scored 51 goals. Well, I, it, it was reverse psychology from me. He's, he's going to miss it. He messaged me and said, I was going to stop, but I just couldn't I couldn't cope with Andy. Yeah. Just give me all that abuse about not scoring free kicks. Don't yeah, keep your band That's because here where I, was, where I actually said it. It's psychological, isn't it? If every time somebody... I do it every single time and every player that takes a free kick for us outside the box, I say, can't hit a band door. It's going miles of at bar. Miles of it, but actually it usually does. But and it's the reverse. So when they smack it in, it's a bit of reverse psychology. It's about tomorrow. So I didn't mean him to take on so, but you know, good luck to him. He's been um it's been good for us. I don't think he's been used that great over the last season and a bit. I know he's had his injuries, but you know, I I, I don't think it's complicated that most people would say, certainly me anyway, that he was his best when he played with uh Kiefer Moore when he's got a tall Striker, I know Josh don't like the word target man, but target man striker to play off. He was absolutely on fire in League One and he would be in the championship as well with a tall central target man. Well, it didn't work out last year and he was the sole striker who in midfield. He was trying to do everything, wasn't he? He's captain and all, trying to do everything and it weren't coming off. So it, it weren't great last season, but he has been in previous seasons. Good luck to him. I hope he resurrects. You know, after last year, I hope he resurrects his um, his football and you know coming back from injury and, and does well for Luton. Good luck to him. I've got to say, I'm a bit devastated because I'm, I'm, I'm glad Josh. I'm glad Josh is not here because he'll give me some stick for this. But Cole is the only player to follow me on Twitter, and he's gone. <laughs> Dead to me, Cole. That's probably Dead why. To me. Forget your fifty goals. Forget if your amazing you, contribution to the club. Dead to me Michael, for not Duff. following me on Twitter. If you if you're listening, Michael, don't follow Joe. Somebody, somebody just do it. Save all pity party we've got going on here. Just do it. This makes our life easier. Jokes, jokes aside, I mean, for me... You feel I, like crying? <laughs> you feel like... What do you think, Jane? Do you feel like crying for him, Jane? Not, honestly, that, not really. No. Yeah, None of them follow me, so I'm not bothered. Not bothered. No. Somebody on Twitter's asked me if I've got a photo with Coley. No, no. Aidan does, that's it, but he's got to. He's got no choice. That's all that is. <laughs> yeah, we're going to say he don't, he don't get out yeah, of that one, does he? Joke, has he? <laughs> um, jokes aside, Corley, what a fantastic uh, player for the club. Like Andy said, didn't have his best season last year. I think he'd have admitted that himself, but like none of them did, to be fair. Uh, really difficult situation. But I just think that he's underappreciated. I think a lot of fans don't appreciate that when he's played in the right position and he's given the right service, he's a quality player. Uh, yeah. And Luton fans, I know a couple of you watch, I know Glenn watches. Let us know what you think to, to your new signing. I think you've got a corking player. Um, Al, why do you think he was underappreciated at Barnsley? Or was he underappreciated? Is probably the first question. And then why, if, if you think he was? 
I don't know. A lot of a lot of fans were thinking that he were dropping too deep. He wasn't doing his uh, role as a instinctive finisher, instinctive goal scorer. We didn't get too much of that, and he scored some wonderful goals. Uh, say he's, he's been a loyal servant at football club. Um, he could have gone and he signed a new contract, didn't he? Mm. Uh, I think as like we noticed, it's a bit like Arthur Mawson. I think captain's half man took away from his uh, quality, in my opinion. I, I think it were a bridge too far. Uh, he should have really concentrated on on his goal scoring, and he did try to come back, get ball, and he were playing wide, uh, and he didn't have much support with him up front, uh, uh, as we said. Uh, it were better with Kiefer Moore, uh, but it's nature of football, isn't it? It's it's our coaches ask him to play, ask him to set up. And I don't think it uh, under the last two coaches, it, it's been yeah. his best. Correct. Jane, I've, I've seen some people saying this is a good deal all round. What what do you make to no, that comment? No, I completely agree with Alan. I think he has been, there's been too much on one person, far too much expectation on his shoulders and far too many jobs for him to do that it has drowned the ability and the player that he is. Um, I believe now when he goes to Luton, he's, you're going to see the old Corley back, and I think he's going to fly. I do believe we have not, like you said, under the last two coaches, we've not seen the best in him. We had the best, and then we killed it off with workload and expectation and the lack of quality players around him. And I'm sick of saying it unless you get some experience around you, you're not going to get anything from anybody. And we've let a good player go that has got so much potential that I think I, I I personally think for him it's a brilliant move and I think he'll fly. Yeah, it's difficult, isn't it? Because when you we talk about obviously getting relegated, we all know that um, you know, the board have come out, the new board and said about the fact we've got what six, seven million to make up. Wages is going to be a big thing in this league. Yeah. We know Corley's probably the highest paid player or very for yeah, yeah it's gonna be I think you were over eight grand, I, I think you were on eight grand a week. So I mean we a, don't know, so we'll not speculate really on figures. Me, well, Alan, I don't know, but nearly <laughs> as much as me. Nearly. Not quite. Not quite. Um so we'll not you speculate. paid more than me and you, Alan. I know yeah. that. <laughs> No but I think real, uh, realistically, I'm off, to, I'm, off, I'm off to Luton with begging bowl. Don't worry. <laughs> realistically, <laughs> I mean, we couldn't keep him. So I think that you know what for me, I think we are losing a quality player. We are going to yeah. have to try and replace him. Um, and I think that some fans who maybe didn't appreciate him as much as I personally think we should have, um, maybe get a bit of a shock when he starts to play well at Luton because I think he will do yeah. well for Luton. I think they've got themselves player. a good good player. Um, so yeah. Um, but this leaves a big gaping hole in the captaincy. Uh, nobody wearing the armband now. Callie's gone. Um, what are we reckoning then, gang? Who's your who's your candidate? So let us know who do you think as well in the comments. Um, who's your candidate? So uh, any comments will get you uh, a draw into the uh, into the draw. Sorry for the for the shirt. I am really terrable at saying that tonight. By the way, sorry. <laughs> well, if Alex stays, it's too warm. Me, it's too warm. Too if, warm. If Alex, Alex stays, it's Alex. But yeah, well, probably yeah. he'll leave. For me, what I've seen on social media today, Mads Anderson smiling through and looking to work, probably keep Mads Anderson. I mean, a smiling captain, what more can you say? Mm. He smiles from ear to ear, doesn't he? So that's 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 mine. Or if uh, Carlton stays, Carlton Morris, it, for me, it's between them two. What do you, you know reckon, what? Morris might be a good shout. Morris might be a good shout, I think. He seems like a leader to me. I do. I like. I really like. I really like him. I think he's a quality player. He's another one that I'd like. I'm glad he's. I hope they stay in. Um, I'm amazed nobody snapped him up. Uh, he's strong up ball. Uh, he's he's built now. I've noticed he's built his size up, so he's a good built player. You know, a strong player. Um, and he's and he seems really like he knows where he wants the players to be. You know, he knows where he needs to be. So for me, yeah, Morris. 100%. Andy, what do you reckon, mate? It was it top be Carlton Morris for me, only because I, I could I could see the same sort of thing as happened with Corley. He's a striker, and I don't I'm, I'm not particularly keen on strikers. Not to do with Carlton himself. Not particularly keen on strikers being um, being captains. Um, that that that's the only reason. Everything else that Jane says is, is exactly right. I mean, it, we've got a new a new coach now. I mean, I, I think it would be it would have been nailed on to be Mads Anderson because 
you know, he was captain in the absence of Corley at times, but it's a different a different manager, yeah, different coach. Idea. So who knows? I, I would have thought Mads Anderson, but I, I, I don't know. I just hope he's not a goalkeeper or a striker, and that's nothing against any of our goalies or our strikers. Just I don't like the position. Central midfield, central defence, even fullback. Get, you know, I don't know, I don't know. Get, get, <laughs> get to Callum Britton, he might score if you get him. Who knows? <laughs> You never know. I mean, I'm I'm struggling on this one because I love Mads to bits. So, like Alan said, you know, seeing his smile in training again, it's good to see him happy. Um, obviously, last season was tough. Um, I just don't know if he, if he's the leader. Is he a leader? I don't know. He's a good player. I can't wait to see him play. I don't know. I don't know. You know, unless you're in the dressing room, it's hard to tell. But sometimes I feel like, for me personally, I'm motivated more by someone who maybe is a bit more tough and a bit more kick up the bum. I guess some players are motivated by that arm around them. I think Mads would be more of that sort of type of captain if he did get it. Probably more put put his arm mm. around you and say, "Come on, let's keep going," sort of captain. Um, so I don't know. I'm not. I'm not decided on this one. I think Helic would get it for me if if he was if he was um, you know if he stays. But I think the most likely for me would be Carlton. Morris. We'll find out, Joe, on Saturday at Worksop Town. Who leads the Reds out? Might have a little insight. Who leads them out at Worksop Town? We'll see. The trouble is, Alan, whoever leads him out at works up town as captain might get sold the following week because we sell our captains. <laughs> Don't be heaven, <laughs> might be kiss of death, Al. Can we get it to Toby then? Um, yeah. Just to let you know, you may have noticed Josh Atherton is not here tonight. It's because he was busy. Um, but you might have also noticed that we've published a new show called Away End. Um, we are trying our absolute best to, to give you more good content as we come into the new season. We're trying a few different things this summer. Please let us know what you think to it all. Uh, and as part of that, we basically decided to give Josh his own show uh, where he basically interviews away fans and people of interest uh, as well. Uh, called the way in. What's that? What's that? Yes, he said kicked in. Basically, that's why we did it. Yeah, <laughs> I told you. I thought you were going on holiday, it. then, Joe. You froze. You froze. Oh, I brilliant. thought Barnsley were on holiday. Then. Did Just I freeze? Brilliant. Oh, you froze. Very good, Josh. See you later, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, obviously, he's, you know, he's. He's, he's, he gets to do it on Zoom, so it's not too bad. So he's not face to face with the away fans. I am trying to convince him to go to every away game and and you know go around to away end and interview fans there when we've won three 0 But I don't think he's going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, check out that show. I've told Josh he can only it's only going to keep going if he gets hundred likes up first, and otherwise we're bending it off. So you best go and like it for him if you if you oh, like yeah. him. If you if you're Josh and Joe out, you best go and like it. <laughs> Um, so yeah um, and we're looking forward to Saturday at Workshop as well barbecue Saturday morning if you want to come say hello to me and Alan um, we've been able to invest in some new tech thanks to our business supporters and our Patreon supporters as well our supporters club so I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who's supporting us um, Be Ryan Decorators Oaks Working Men's Club which is obviously at the back of Andy uh, Smart Door Solutions Car Seekers and uh, we've also got Sunshine the Sunshine Day Spa put my teeth back in uh, so really appreciate all the support from our business supporters and Patreons as well I really appreciate it if you want to, if you want to uh, get involved it'll be on the screen to uh, join our supporters club uh, right let's talk about new signing then to finish Robbie Cundy don't know much about this lad considering that um, we signed him about two minutes ago or two yeah, minutes before we think. start show <laughs> Well, he knew, isn't he? He's just he's a 20, 21 year old defender. I haven't watched any videos of him yet. I haven't seen any YouTube clips or anything. Uh, there seems to be quite a good uh, positive press around him. So hopefully he's, uh, you know, a commander in his area and uh, a brick wall. So Come on, I'll get us a quote. You're, you're man off the trigger. You'll, you'll, well, you'll have all the info. You'll, you'll, you'll be looking at it. Here we go. Kundi, hopefully he's got a cross in him. You see where I went there? Cundy's got a cross. Sorry. It's a anyway, pun. that's the red all over show this week. <laughs> anyway, he told Barnsley Football Club site that first and foremost, I'm a defender, which we know that. That's fine. He's a defender. I'm going to win my headers. I like to play out when I can. And hopefully, we can do that this season. So, yeah, he's come from Bristol City. Uh, he's played in all leagues. And. Um, a lot of people are saying, oh, if, if he's come as a defender, is he going to be uh, taking over Ellick's place? We don't know. We don't, we've no, still no idea what's happening with players we've got. But it's nice to see the football club. That's the third signing we've got now, isn't it? Yeah. A lot more positive this time. A lot. I mean, it couldn't have got any more negative, let's be honest, with it, rock bottom. Um, you know, we, we had to be... Uh, 
pulled from the pits of hell. But um, hopefully, hopefully it's a sign of things to come. Let's Holly hope so. Here. Yeah. Said, said for ages we need a big Brusson centre-half. And it sounds yeah. like Robert Cundy might well, he's a big centre-half, big strong centre might well be as big and Brusson we it. So, you know, oh, let's hope. Okay. I hope he's got. I hope he's not super slow because we've got enough of them. We need somebody that could, could be a bit nippy and all, you know, to to cover for the others. But I mean, remember, we've got. I mean, I find this incredible. I mean, we know George Miller's gone to Donny, and you know, good luck to George. But Patrick Schmidt has gone to the the club with the best name in the world, Admira Wacker. What sort of name is that for a club? I can, you know, I, I nearly did. I'm, I'm being careful about how I actually say it, Admira. Wacker. Don't you'll be dissing Amira Wacker. I'm sure the Amira Wacker fans will not be I'm happy. Telling, now I've got shirts up there and everything. They're a rate team. Don't be dissing them. No, I'm not. I think it's a brilliant name. And good luck, you know, good luck. All right, Wacker. Yeah. For Shakira supporting him, I'll tell you now. Oh, that, that's convinced me then, Jane. <laughs> Hey, it looks like Barnsley's on, on, on holiday then. I might have to go over to uh, Wacker and uh, <laughs> Barnsley on holiday. Well, me feel like I'm on holiday. How warm it is in here today. Blooming no, it, that barbecue on Saturday's anyway, good. He's welcome, can't wait. Media, I'm going out, there's talk that uh, Clark Adore might be going to Carlisle. Yeah, I don't know how true that is, but, you know, if, if he does, good luck, good luck to him and all. We've got oh, oh, we've got Luca Cornell in as well, haven't we? That's come through. He's been on loan at Queen's okay. Park, but Bolton originally and then Former to Celtic. Former Celtic, yeah, Celtic player, weren't yeah, so, we? Uh, we I, had I, a I don't know where he'll be like. Celtic Celtic before, really Andrew, didn't we? Johnny Glavin. Glavin come from Celtic, so hopefully, could he? I can't see him matching him, but we had a good signing with Glavin from Celtic, so good luck to Luca. I'm going to say, you put an expectation on his shoulders there. Big yeah, boots to to Ronnie Glavin. Big boots to fill. <laughs> Not if. Only what, the best player that you and you and Andy think has ever played for the club. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and we signed uh, we signed the keeper as well, didn't we? J- Jason, yeah. Jamie, what, what Sue. Jamie, Sue. oh yeah, Jamie. Sorry, it's been a week. I'm looking at An- I'm looking at Alta to help me out, but it's for us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from New Zealand as well. So, um, so I don't know. Is that why we're having a Barbie? Al? Are they like a Barbie in New Zealand? My friends Probably. in New Zealand like a Barbie. I think I think uh, keeper that new keeper's over six foot, isn't he? He's a tall guy, lad. About six five, on? I think. Somewhere yeah, six foot like five. He's from New Zealand, isn't he? He is. Not yes. made that up ever. <laughs> Imagine being that tall, you can reach everything in cupboards, can't you? Not like me, I can jump on chairs and that. You know apparently, what I mean? Apparently, that's why we've signed him, Jamie. We, we can't reach. Just can't reach that top shelf. Reach for stuff. Brilliant. It's 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 looking nice that you know that we, we don't know how these players are going to pan out. But at least they seem to be consulting with each other and with the manager and what have you. And, and we gain them in early. You know, we're not leaving it till halfway through window. We're getting them in early. I'm a little bit, I mean, there's, there's plenty of time yet. It's only just started. I mean, I'm just saying we've lost, you know, Cole is gone, Patrick Schmidt's gone, George Miller when he were gone. That's three strikers. So we just we just need to we just need to make sure that we've got some cover. Because we've got some, we've still got some of the strikers in there, but you know, I don't know if we're, we've got a central midfield player now, a central defender, a goalkeeper. I wouldn't like, I'd, I'd quite like to see a dirty great big Brusson centre forward as well. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, catch of everything you want, can you? Well, I think a few more will go. Is he busy? I don't think some more will go. And for me, what I'm looking forward to this season, now we've got uh, Michael Duffin, is working with Josh Benson. And hopefully we see Josh Benson because they were a big signing for us last season and we never saw anything of the young lad. So yeah. hopefully this season, he knows him from Burnley. Hopefully we're going to see a better player in midfield. Yeah, Gabriel Sutton on uh, Josh's show, The Away End, that we've been talking about earlier, he said that he thinks Josh Benson's going to come good for us at some point. So let's hope this season is, is the point. And he knows what he's talking about, Joe, that game. Generally season. speaking. I mean, he said we finished uh, second last season. Don't so. start, don't start yeah, what did he say about Michael Duff? What did he say about? He knows nothing. Yeah, ignore it. Don't <laughs> start go, on, if go you start on Gabriel. Show. Go watch that show. Let us know. Whether you, start whether on me if you start on Gabriel, Joe. I'm not having it. I'm not starting I'm not having it. Bless to finish him. the show, we are going to be doing uh, exciting news, a limited... Uh, t-shirts, a limited edition Red Hulk oh, This is t-shirts. exciting, isn't it? God, I can hardly oh, contain exciting. it, Jane. <laughs> it's exciting for some people, I don't know. 
<laughs> Maybe not for others. A limited edition Red Oliver T-shirt. There's only going to be a certain amount of these. Um, but we need your help. We need you to pick what the slogan should be. It'll be a quote from last season or a slogan from last season. Um, I will put the options on the screen. So what we want you to do is pick one of those and comment, please, which one you prefer. We want you guys to decide what the uh, limited edition Red All Over slogan should be for this season, and then we'll release the T-shirts. So you guys uh, will have a chance to buy one if you want to purchase one. Um, yeah, just so that we can, uh, yeah, just a little treat, really. I thought it'd be nice to do something a bit different. And, um, yeah, we, I can buy a pint then for uh, uh, Andy and Alan, which is what they've been looking forward to for five years, six years now. I don't know, something like that. I mean, yeah. it depends if you sell them I'm, all. I've got two turtles, yo. I forgot what it's like to drink a pint off you. Oh, buy your water. I can get you some water, mate. If you want some tap water. Lime and soda. It's lovely. Lime and soda. Not wrong with that. <laughs> so let us know in the comments yeah, which one you prefer. There's a few on there. Happy Clapper Club. Uh, season starts next week. Um, we've also got um, hashtag Joe out, Josh in, which I think <laughs> might be. I hope it's not you're a popular a one, but. <laughs> You're a wrong un. Don't forget you're a wrong un. Yeah, he's a wrong un, which is an Andy special. Um, so, yeah, whichever one you like, let us know which is your favourite and then we will tally it up, see, see who picks the most. Uh, you've got till uh, tomorrow evening to do that and then we'll find out, basically, yeah, which, which is going to be our limited edition slogan for this season. Right, Reds, it's been a pleasure. Hope to hopefully see you at the barbecue on Saturday or works up away if you go into game. Uh, me, Andy and Al are going. Jim, you're not... You're not going, are you? Oh, worry me on Saturday. Oh, she's doing a fitness thing, she'll be. Yeah, I'll be dunking in skips of ice and throwing myself off. I tell you now, if we don't win first five games at season, we've got to get Jane in for a game because she'll put us in a bar. I'm not scared. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whatever. Big tackles. Life for living, isn't it? That's it. <laughs> right, Reds, have a good week. See you later. <laughs>